And now let's get the latest from our reporter Dong Xue in the city of Lianyungang, where the launching ceremony took place. Hi there, Dong Xue. So we understand this is a highly significant project, both in terms of practical cooperation between the two countries, but also in fulfilling China's uh, environment goals. Tell us more, please. Well, Mang Mang, behind me is the Tianwan nuclear power plant, one of China's largest. Earlier in the afternoon, Chinese President Xi Jinping and his Russian counterpart Vladimir Putin tuned in via video link to oversee the launch of a special joint nuclear energy project, which will see the country's upgrade nuclear power plants in two separate locations in China. And one of them is here in the city of Lianyungang, as you mentioned, East China's Jiangsu province. Well, yesterday, a spokesperson for China's foreign ministry held the project saying it could pave the way for greater high quality growth in the China-Russia comprehensive strategic partnership of coordination in the new era. Well, many people may not have heard of the uh, Tianwan nuclear power plant where well, the building work commenced about like two decades ago and the first reactor units went into operation in 2007. Today, the plant consists of six units, four of which used a Russian-designed reactor device as part of their deal, which was agreed in 2018. Russia will build two more units here using a new reactor device that could be able to generate around 70 billion kilowatts hours annually. Russia will also help build two more units in another plant in the northeastern Chinese province of Liaoning. Well, these are part of a nearly three billion U.S. dollar nuclear deal, deal between China National Nuclear Corporation and Rosatom, the Russian state nuclear company. Once the project is finished and put into use in around 2026, authorities hope it can help China meet its environmental targets by reducing greenhouse gas emissions and producing cleaner and cheaper energy. China is the second largest contributor to energy-related carbon dioxide emissions after the United States, but the government says it's committed to reducing its carbon footprint. The government is investing heavily in cleaner energy. The foreign ministry spokesperson said, well, this joint project not only highlighted the government's determination to reach its carbon peak and carbon neutrality goals, but also demonstrated China's determination to assume responsibilities as a big country. Well, the plant provides power mainly to one of the country's most developed regions, East China's Jiangsu province, and close to Shanghai, which has become a hotspot for foreign investments. And earlier, I've talked to some people in the know on this, and one of them said that their cooperation in nuclear technology is a sign that Russia and China are moving closer in the face of uncertainties in the global situation. When those two reactor units went into operation 15 years ago, they were the result of the largest ever technological and economic cooperative project between China and Russia. So many believe it's a testament to those uh, the strong partnership that these two will continue to grow and evolve through enterprising projects like this in the future. Mama. Indeed. Thank you so much, our Dongxue, joining us from Lianyungang.